Are we living in a simulation? The simulation hypothesis suggests our reality could be a computer program, a highly advanced creation beyond our understanding, potentially designed by an unknown intelligence. If this is true, it raises profound questions about the nature of existence, free will, and the universe itself. What if everything we experience, our world, our universe, even our own consciousness, is nothing more than a highly advanced simulation? This idea, known as the simulation hypothesis, suggests that reality might not be what it seems. While it may sound like science fiction, some of the world's leading scientists and philosophers take this possibility seriously. 1. The core idea behind the simulation hypothesis. The simulation hypothesis proposes that our reality is a computer-generated simulation created by a more advanced civilization. This could mean that everything, from the laws of physics to our own thoughts, is simply data running on an advanced system beyond our understanding. Philosopher Nick Bostrom popularized this idea in 2003, suggesting that if civilizations continue to develop powerful computing technology, they might eventually create simulations so realistic that the inhabitants wouldn't know they were in one. If this is possible, the argument goes, it is statistically likely that we are already inside one of these simulations rather than being in the real world. 2. Scientific evidence that raises questions. While we don't have direct proof that we live in a simulation, there are several strange phenomena in science that align with the hypothesis. Quantum mechanics and the observer. Effect one of the strangest discoveries in physics is the observer effect, particularly in the famous double slit experiment. When a particle is not observed, it behaves as a wave, existing in multiple places at once. However, when it is observed, it collapses into a single position. This behavior is eerily similar to how video games only render what the player is looking at to save processing power. Could this mean our reality is also being rendered only when we observe it? The limits of reality, the Planck scale. Scientists have discovered that reality has limits. The smallest measurable unit of space and time is the Planck length and Planck time. If our universe were truly infinite, there should be no smallest possible unit, just like in a digital image, where zooming in enough reveals individual pixels, our universe seems to have a minimum resolution. The mathematical nature of reality. Many fundamental laws of physics are described using complex mathematical equations. Some physicists, like Max Tegmark, argue that this suggests our reality is fundamentally mathematical in nature, just like a programmed simulation. 3. Arguments against the simulation. Hypothesis. Not everyone agrees with the idea that we live in a simulation. Some argue that simulating an entire universe with conscious beings would require an unimaginable amount of computational power. Others believe that consciousness is not something that can be simulated, as it may arise from something beyond physical processes. Furthermore, there is no definitive test to prove or disprove the simulation hypothesis. Without concrete evidence, it remains a fascinating but unconfirmed theory. 4. What would it mean if we are in a simulation? If we are living in a simulation, it raises profound questions about the nature of existence. Who or what created the simulation? Are we just characters in a game, or do we have some level of control? Could there be a way to break out or communicate with the creators? Religious and philosophical interpretations could also change dramatically. Some might argue that the programmers of our universe take the place of gods, while others might see this as proof that reality is an illusion, similar to beliefs in Buddhism or other spiritual traditions. 5. The Future of the Simulation Hypothesis As technology advances, we are already creating increasingly sophisticated virtual worlds through artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and advanced computing. If humanity continues on this path, we may one day create our own hyper-realistic simulations, potentially proving that such a thing is possible. Whether or not we are in a simulation, the mere possibility challenges us to think differently about reality, perception, and our place in the universe. What do you think? Could everything we know be part of an advanced program? Let us know in the comments.